Ladies and gentlemen, Bill O'Reilly. I know, I'm surprised too. <laughs> Herbie Hancock, remarkable American, remarkable artist. We start his tribute there. Over the years, I've talked with Herbie a few times. I don't hang with him. I don't want to ruin his reputation. <laughs> but when I see him, He's always serene. You ever notice that? He's, he's always modest and he's so polite. And believe me, I need that kind of role model. <laughs> I remember one time I, I seeing Herbie at a Time Magazine bash, and there was Herbie sitting at his piano. He had played a number, and he's just taking it all in. Actually, he was so serene, I thought he was in a coma. <laughs> then I find out he's a practicing Buddhist. Presto. It all made sense. And he's always that way. Look at him now. He's sitting up there with the President of the United States, the First Lady, all those brilliant artists. And he's the only one not nervous about what I'm going to say. <laughs> Herbie is a true gentleman. His fame and his skill reflect the values that have made this country great. Hard work, creativity, respect for yourself and others. And he brings that everywhere he goes. It's that embracing of what is good in mankind that infuses Herbie Hancock's music and makes him a national icon. He said one time, I realize that if I perceive myself as a musician, that somehow puts a barrier between me and people who are not musicians. But if I define myself as a human being, all the barriers disappear. That's true. Humble, to the point. That's Herbie Hancock. the piano to arrive at his parents house he was only 10 when he made his solo debut with the Chicago Symphony then he discovered jazz he wondered how does this work he loved to take things apart and so he did Records was the place for jazz. Herbie wrote them seven years of hits. Then he heard someone was looking for him. With Miles Davis, jazz wasn't what you played, it was how you played it. Miles asked me to play something. And when I finished, Miles had, had one comment. He said, Nice touch. <laughs> I learned to trust your instincts and have the courage to be vulnerable enough to explore what you don't know. This is amazing. I like taking jazz to places it's never been before. New audiences put his album over the top. Kirby kept his eye on what the kids were doing. His song, Rockin'. Rockin'. 
He was, and still is, the hippest guy in the room. He's happiest when he's exploring and taking his friends with him. Old songs, new rhythms. For over a half a century, Herbie has been bringing together the pieces that create the orchestra of life. We are so grateful for buying Herbie that piano.